Welcome to CAD Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 9.6. So we're given these two sinusoids, and we're asked to find V1 plus V2. So this is what you basically do. Make sure that these two sinusoids are in the same form, and the preferred form is the cosine form, because that will allow you to transform these two into um, phases, right? Then after transforming these two into phases, then you can simply add them. So let's start by transforming this one, which is a negative sine into a positive cosine. So to do that, we're basically just going to add 90 degrees to the argument. So this is what is going to happen. This is what we basically have. Negative 30 degrees. Then we add 90 degrees to that. So the resulting angle will be 60 degrees. So omega t plus 60 degrees. So this is our v1, and this is our v2, which is already in cosine form. So you can just transform these two into phases, just taking the amplitude in the phase, the amplitude in the phase. So v1 in phasor form is 10 with an angle of 60 degrees, and v2 is 20 with an angle of 45 degrees. So 20 with an angle of 45 degrees. And you can include the units as well, right? So now V1 plus V2 will then be 10 with an angle of 60 added to 20 with an angle of 45 degrees. So you can just basically add these up using your calculator. So this is how you do it. Make sure your calculator is in degrees and make sure you are in complex form. So say 10, then press shift and this um, dash within brackets, it has this angle thing which I drew over here over it in yellow over there so that's what you press to input your angular part then you say 60 which is our angle in this case then you say plus 20 do the angle thing again and 45 which is our angle for the second phaser so this is our result and we can basically write our result as a phaser first so let's transform this into polar form and after transforming this into polar form, we're basically going to write it again as a sinusoid. So the result is 29.77 with an angle of 49.987, right? So the phasor is, so the resulting phasor of V1 plus V2 is 29.77 with an angle of 49.987 degrees, right? And forgetting the units. So now we can transform this phasor into its corresponding sinusoid. So the addition of these two will result in a sinusoid of the form 29.77 cos omega t plus 49.987 degrees. And that is your answer.